Last thing we'll end with tonight is the importance of yoni massage. Yoni massage is a therapy and some people say, well, that's a strange massage. Well, every other part of our body needs to be massaged. And when you learn that actually the lingam and the yoni have reflexology points, just like the hands and the feet and the ears, you know that there's different points here and they relate to the organs. The feet and the ears have that as well. So do the yoni and lingam. And the beauty of this is that when a man and a woman are making love, their reflexology points line up perfectly. So the deepest part of the yoni is the heart and the tip of the lingam is the heart center. And when there's deep penetration, then you have the ability to heal each other with lovemaking. And we're going to talk more about that tomorrow. Another modality of helping to heal a woman is yoni massage. And taking the time to really touch every single part of that yoni and awaken it so that it can have more pleasure, more energy flowing through it, and get to that level of experiencing all these amazing orgasms that we're talking about. Again, it's not the goal to have orgasms. The goal is love. And when you have deep love and communication and commitment and surrender and trust, then the orgasms can happen. Without that, the orgasms are very superficial. Yeah, you can have energy flowing and you can have you know, some, some really powerful physical sensations, but it's the love that takes it into the next level. So the yoni massage is something that men can really learn to give. And in this understanding of tantric relationship, it's about giving. And when you give, you receive. So when you put the other person's needs first, and both people are doing that, then everybody's needs are met. So instead of being selfish about what can I get from this person, what can I give to this person, the other person's thinking the exact same thing. And thereby, you support each other. And yoni massage is just a technique, but it doesn't have to be um, something difficult to learn. You just simply take the time to massage every single part of the yoni and the woman has the responsibility to communicate. I like that, I don't like that, faster, slower, harder, softer, circles, back to back, diagonal, literally giving instructions until the man learns and then he doesn't need any more instruction. And then you can just lay back and relax and enjoy since you've taught him how to do it. But it takes another level of really intimate communication. And maybe we haven't been there before, but wouldn't you like to be able to be that open and honest with your partner? I mean, why are we here in this workshop? Most of you said something about connecting with yourself and with another. Well, that comes through transparency, honesty, and this type of communication that we're talking about. There are yoga, uh, yoni massage therapists. Now it's, it's becoming more of a, a known modality of healing. Uh, it's not like widespread, but there are there are possibilities of finding healers and this is what it is. It's a healing. And through the act of touch, as we talked a little bit as you were giving touch, it's becoming that transmitter of love through the hands. Becoming that touch and going into a meditation when you touch. And not touching for gratitude, but touching for giving. You know, a lot of men I know go to touch women because they want something from them. And women feel that and they shut down. And that's why they can't have orgasms often, because they block themselves because they don't feel safe. They feel like they're, I'm not saying this is all the time, of course, but th it happens. So when a man learns to approach a woman with just a sense of service, and it's your turn tonight, darling, to just receive, and then another night, another time, I can lay back and receive and start to be in a reciprocal relationship. And we take a dance between the yin and the yang. One person is active, one person is passive. Not both people trying to work all the time or dance all the time and take the lead, but allowing yourself to go into this flow, this ebb and flow of give and take, and having this be part of your understanding of why you're together. Because partnership allows us to be stronger than we are by ourselves very often. And this is one of the gifts of having the understanding that this relationship is my spiritual path. It is my ability to face really difficult challenges in life. And yoni massage is just an offering. And you can do a lingam massage too. It's the same thing. You're worshiping that person's body because you love them, not because you want them to get you off and get you a good orgasm. And so the technique really just comes from sensitivity and awareness and presence and communication, giving and receiving feedback. It's not, I mean, yeah, you can learn technique, of course, but anybody who's given a massage understands, you know, you want to move gently and with awareness and touch different parts and, and actually experiment too. It's an exploration as well because every woman is different 
and some things will be beneficial and pleasurable and other things will not and it could change from woman to woman so you explore together and you feed you give the feedback yeah I really like that but we need to open our mouths we need to be honest all right I think you get the point yeah